I'm Oscar Ward, running for Place 5 on the City Council. Uh, one of the questions on uh, Sapoa's questionnaire for City Council uh, candidates was, what qualifies you to be on City Council? I like to list three to four qualifications. First, my education. I have a Bachelor of Science in Industrial Engineering from the University of Houston. I also have an MBA with a finance emphasis from the University of Texas at Arlington. Second, I have a successful management background and career in the building and construction industry. I've managed large workforces, major plant expansion projects, P&L responsibilities for multi-billion dollar operations. Third, I have a record of leadership service with the City of Irving. I was chairman of the Building and Standards Commission for the last two years and, and served for another two years for a total of four years. I recently, according to the city charter, I recently had to resign from the building of standards because the, the city charter states that once you file to be a candidate, you must resign from whatever commission or board you're in. So I, I complied by that. I had the honor and privilege in 2012 and 13 to, to be elected and serve as chairman of the Charter Review Committee. Y'all may remember that last year in November, I mean May 2013, there was 25 amendments. And, and each one of these other eight gentlemen that was on the committee with me were appointed. And, and I like the system the council used this time. I understand in the past, the Charter Review Committee had much more than nine people. So each council member selected a citizen to serve on that committee. And it was a great privilege to work with those individuals. We, as I said, we recommended the 25 amendments that were all passed in November of 2000, May of 2013. I also served on the Zoning Board of Adjustments and Appeals for a number of years. Also along by qualifications and, and what motivates you, what motivated me to run, I strongly believe that it is a healthy, very healthy for an incumbent to have competition. So I'm running to serve the taxpayers and the citizens of Irving in a professional and respectful manner that the citizens of Irving deserve and expect. The other question that was addressed by Sapoa that they wanted comments on, of course, was the oil and gas. After this forum is over, I invite you to my table. I have a copies, a one-page copy entitled Irving Gas Drilling Milestones. In summary, it states that since January the 12th in 2006, the city of Irving issued, has issued only two permits. One was never drilled and has since expired and would need council approval to proceed. The second permit was to drill on an existing pad. Of the two wells that are on that pad, one had a casing failure and never produced gas. The other well is Irving's only producing gas well. As far as the ordinance, for oil and gas drilling being adequate, it certainly needs to be reviewed, and I think it needs to be scheduled or reviewed at least every other year. But my question would be, after seven years, or eight years that it's been in existence, why hasn't any city council member been, been addressing the, the adequacy of that, of that ordinance? That's a question that needs to be answered. I will support and sign the new proposed ethics code of conduct. In that code, it references the Texas Local Government Code, Chapter 171, Conflict of Interest, which requires a council member to abstain from voting on an issue where a relative benefits financially. Fourth, I'd like to add to uh, Mr. Landry's comment about the city and the community getting together with the school district. Our public education community and its relationship with the city of Irving is very important to me. I would recommend when elected that we revive the education committee as a formal liaison between the city of Irving and all school districts in the Irving meeting as needed to, commun to communicate areas of mutual interest and benefit. The ne next item I'd like to comment on, and this comes from my South Irving, uh, 35 years. We moved here before Southwest Park was open. As soon as they had that pool, every summer, I, I knew where I could find my two sons. They were at the pool. No more pool closures without public input. Southwest Park <laughs> pool closed. So was, so was Northwest Park. 
So that should never happen again. That, that addresses a transparency issue of why it happened. I, I don't recall, I did some research, there was no public input of why those pools was closed. That will never happen if I'm elected and on the council. The third thing is some major funding that's right around the corner for the city of Irving. First, the most, one of the most important issues is securing additional water sources for the future of Irving's economic development, both for business and residential. The next funding we would be face, faced with is for the development of the Texas Stadium site, its 79 acre site. So the funding question is, of course we don't know yet, it could be public-private, it could be 100% private, or those are the two issues that I want to be involved in with my background in finance and engineering. But just as important is the properties adjacent to that Texas Stadium site. They're principally owned by University of Dallas and Central Freight Lines. There's about three or 400 acres. So what, what it encumbers the city to do to be responsible, whatever may be developed on those sites, to be compatible with whatever the product is on the Texas Stadium site. The third funding item that will happen in the next two years, or decision will be, have to be made, is near and dear to my heart, being a South Irving guy, funding for the redevelopment of Irving Boulevard and Second Street as part of the revitalization of the heart of the Heritage District. The Gateway Group, the, the construction, the consultant the city is now engaged, have, have recently revealed for public viewing their ideas of how to accomplish what we need to do on, on the Main Street, or I'm sorry, on Irving Boulevard and the Second Street. And it's also my understanding that an RFP on the engineering design of these street modifications will be issued soon. In all these funding issues that I just commented on, my focus when on the council will always be keeping the eye on our treasured AAA bond rating, your AAA bond rating. That's so important. I'd like to close and again thank Sapoa and Oakview Baptist Church for putting this event on. I would appreciate your support. I know a lot of you may not live in District 5, but if you have friends and you feel like you need to tell them where to vote for me on District 5, I have a District 5 map. You're welcome to look at it, and I can, if your friends would like to see that map, I would sure like to get your vote support. I need your help. Thanks again. Appreciate your attention.